Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're going to look at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, the UUP, and the GLD. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames, and we use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. Go to our website, sign up for a free membership for videos like this, live streaming, uh, email alerts, and uh, trade ideas, and a little bit of education, and uh, a lot of fun. Uh, let's look into the daily spy. So again, guys, you know, we've been talking about this 20 uh, moving average, the yellow line for the last couple weeks or so. Every time it gets above it, we consolidate. They try to pop it through. It came back in. I would have liked to see a little more follow through on this, but this, you know, could be another head fake. Then we come back down. We're right on top of this trend line now. So and we, we still closed above the 20. So nothing wrong, guys. Light volume, 75 million traded on the day. So you have to respect that as well. But, you know, until we break this uh, trend line, come into the 50 MA and maybe fill the gap, then maybe more downside. And uh, now we got to get back up here into this area. You know, still big area up here, resistance with the 230, the upper trend line and this upper trend line, even a gap fill now here too and double top. So either way, a lot of resistance, a lot of support. So let's see if we just chop around sideways or what gives first. Uh, weekly chart, we'll look at it in the next couple days. <clears throat> so let's go to the IWM. <clears throat> Again, IWM got down below here, hit the 618 yesterday, filled the gap, bounced up pretty nice today. It did not close above the 20 MA, so it's still, you know, it's still okay. You know, we're still above the 200 down here. It did make a run today. Uh, this was a strong horse as uh, yesterday it was the weak horse. So again, we're still below the trend line. We're still below the 20 MA, but they did manage to close it above the 50 MA. So technically it, it's okay still. You have, still have a pretty good uh, bullish pattern here, but if it starts to, you know, starts to break down, gets below this blue line, then you'd expect gap fill and uh, possibly the 130 area. If you're looking to go um, long, or if you are long, you wanna get above the MAs, you wanna get above these pivot highs, fill the gap here, get above this pivot high and shoot for the 140, of course, you know, but this isn't a bad bullish pattern, guys. You know, it just needs to get back above the moving averages. You know, kind of, this, this was kind of uh, interesting though. They popped it above and then it just fell apart. Now we're back down here. So <clears throat> maybe a signal right there. You know, that's what we're watching. Again, the volume was okay. Nothing great, nothing, you know, no great shakes today. No conviction either way. Um, Dow was down a little bit, you know, 100 points or whatever, but no, again, no, nothing really wrong. Uh, the Qs now on the daily, we did get above that line. We did just kiss the upper trend line coming from those lows we showed you before in a couple videos, uh, I don't know, a week ago or whatever. Just connect the highs down here. This goes right into this area, comes back in. It does fill the gap, bounces up today. So let's see if this thing can hang on and go. We had Apple earnings. They were up a couple bucks, really a non-event. I mean, they closed at what? One uh, twenty one thirty five and after hours are like one twenty five a couple bucks. I mean, what is that? One and a half percent, a couple percent, whatever. <laughs> Pretty much a non event, guys. I, you know, so that will help the cues a little bit tomorrow. But again, nothing wrong. You're still above the moving average. It's got stretched a little bit up here, right back down. So let's keep an eye if we go sideways in a slightly bearish manner, and then we'll see how it reacts with the 20 MA coming up. Again, if you're bullish, you need to get above this trend line up here. If you're bearish, you need to start going through these, uh, the moving averages. That's a big area of support. You got this old trend line in here. Not that, you know, it, it went through price down in here, but I have that stuff. And then ultimately, I think you'll probably get down in this one down in here. And then you have a gap, you know, around the 118 area. So it's not that far, you know, maybe six bucks, seven bucks, not a big deal. Yeah, so as long as it stays above the 20 MA and does that stuff, let's see, let's wait for some consolidation. We'll go from there. The DIA though, DIA was down the, uh, what was this one down today? Half a percent. It was down uh, a buck. <clears throat> Nothing that big. Popped up. I did like the fact that it did get above. Strong close, confirmed above there, but man, just rolled right back over. So, got to keep an eye on that. We're back below the 20 MA now. We did come and fill this gap too as well, and we closed below it. So that's a little bit uh, on my watch as well. Need to get back above the 20 MA, come up here, fill this gap, and then go for the all-time high, and then maybe 205. <clears throat> and if you're more on the bearish side, then you got to get past this trend line here around the 196.99, 197, and get through the 50 MA, and then start you know chopping your way down to the 200 moving average at 185 or so. 
Um, again, there's still nothing wrong. You did close below the 20 again, but we were chopping here too. So let, let's just keep an eye on this. The volume was okay on this one today, but you know, no, no great shakes, but, uh, but it wasn't terrible either. You know, it was a medium. I mean, it was 75 million on the spy, not uh, too heavy of a day. Let's look at the IYT though. The IYT, we talked about this double top. Let's see how it reacts. Does it, you know, does it consolidate, go up, or does it just come back in and just, you know, fall? Basically, we had three days down, right into a pretty good area of support. If we stick a, uh, let's see here, I'll, if we stick a short term Fibonacci you went to the six six one eight seven almost into the seven five oh and little couple little pivots down there but you want to keep an eye on that too short term so we do have some support in this area does it chop sideways setting up for the next wave down or do we gap down and just start rolling over so if you're bearish that's what you want to see if you're bullish you want to see a run up fill these gaps again going on the way up and then um, hit double top and then maybe 175 176 up in this area Again, bearish, you just want to see it start to fall apart or go sideways from here. A little bit of a retrace and then the next leg down. I'll be, wa I'll be watching for that. So if you watch my videos, I'll make sure <clears throat> you're aware of that. <clears throat> so four cents up on the uh, USO today. So no great shakes. I, think, I believe it was up further. Let's go to the 10-minute chart real quick. Yeah, it's going to say this thing was chopping around today. So it chopped up, boom, 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 came right back in. And then it shuts down, I think, at 2.30. And then the oil trade's pretty much off unless, unless some, something's going on or some war or something like that. But, but daily chart, again, we're still above the, uh, the, the trend line here. We're, we did close below the 20 again. We're still, we're, we're still below that, but we're holding the 50. So you have to say, hey, you know what? We're still above the trend line. We're still above the 50 and the 200. Let's see how it you know, just chops around. These are from lows to highs up here with the FIB as well. It's a 250 retrace. We did close below that. So let's see if it will still chop around the sideways pattern. Setting up for possible lower prices. That's what I'm looking for. Our volume wasn't too bad today. And then the, uh, <clears throat> I think the dollar was flat as well. Well, the dollar was down 21 cents today. So so that one came in pretty good. It, it, it broke out of this uh, double bottom pattern. It was starting to go up a little, little bit bullish, but, you know, down and sideways. This is bearish. Broke down here. Gosh, do we, do, do we hit anything? Is there a gap back here? Let's see. No, there's a gap here. There might be a gap fill like right there. Oh, jeez. So there you go right there. Oh, my gosh. So um, that could possibly be it. But we talked about this gap fill right here and this top there. We're about halfway through. Let's see if this thing bounces up or does it come back in a little bit more. But as this one's coming down, gold is going up. So we got... We, we're in the long gold, so but this one um, dollar down and oil just up a little bit. That uh, we'll see, I guess tomorrow with the inventory numbers or whatever, whatever come out tomorrow. And then the uh, GLD. <clears throat> so guys, this one's still working. You know, it, it was starting to come back in, and uh, never closed below the 20 MA, so it was a little bit stronger. But here we are back in the double top over here. Not that not a true. I mean, it's a top, but not like a true double top. Like you know way up in this area here but but this is double top resistance here let's see if we could break out i'd still like to see the 120 to 125 26 area that would oh that would be epic i think i'd start shaving some off around 122 and see if i could couple, couple more bucks to 126 or so so hold tight with your gold so far you know today was a nice day it was up 1.39 percent so um <clears throat> just hold tight guys you know i don't know if you'll ever yeah, I, I thought maybe we would dip down a little bit, but as long as we held that 20 MA, we're still okay. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching my videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my uh, website. Sign up for that. Then you'll get all the emails and all that stuff. But uh, And we're looking at doing some roundtable stuff, throwing some option trades out there, and getting more people involved and having some fun and trying to make some money, guys. All right. Well, thanks again for watching my videos. God bless. We'll see you on the charts.